Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, back on the Tesla. That's right. You remember last time we kind of pushed out that den a little bit better, so hopefully we can make it easier for today when it's time to do the body work. So in this video, we hope to get you a finished product. So I'll be uh, doing my filler, the body work part. I'm going to prime, and then still in this video, but it'll be tomorrow, we're going to inflate the paint booth and uh, paint clear all that this is the tri coat paint so it's going to be a challenge to match and blend and everything like that we've got a few different products going to use in this video we'll show you what it's going to be with that watch this work all right guys got you set up here i've started sanding a little bit but i'm just going to sand where i'm going to primer and body filler for now Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Give it a good stir. Harder. You ready to stir? You can't see. Stir. Work it a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. tape so that I'll have a soft edge on my primer and everything is taped off where I don't want the primer so I want some as small areas as possible to do these repairs so that's why I kind of done it like this and show you the kind of primer we're gonna go with it's a spray max that's a 2k primer so we've used this before it works great so you have to kind of activate it. I'll have to look how to do that. I think it has something to do with that on the bottom. <clears throat> and then you have so much time to use it after you activate it. So uh, we're going to do two, possibly three coats of this. And then should be good to let it dry. I'll sand it with 320 and then we'll be ready to paint. So kind of get started on doing the primer. All right guys, doing some reading. Apparently you put this on the bottom. Push this in. And shake again. Should be activated. Alright guys, got it untaped. So it's gonna dry for the night. We'll catch you in the morning. Good job. We've been working on something else. You'll see that later. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. I wish I was doing your part. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, boys. I had to stay clean on this job. I feel like Quasimoto. I've been underneath this thing all day. My back broke. 
<laughs> but we're about to do something different here too, so you'll catch it on the next video. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, it's actually the next day. Everything's good and dry, so today's going to be paint day. Uh, we'll be sanding this down. We're going to start out with some 320 along the bottom, wet sanded. Uh, we'll move up with use some scuff stuff. We'll show you guys that. I think we've used that in the video before. And, and we're going to use the scuff stuff up into the line to where we're going to stop uh, with the clear coat. We're going to blend. So I'm going to wipe it down with some uh, wax and grease remover right now. And we'll start sanding. gallon air compressor I've upgraded finally so we're gonna try this 26 gallon cobalt we're also gonna see how loud it is it's supposed to be super quiet so we'll see This is the foam tape I used last night in the, the door jams and around the repair areas. My camera didn't record, so you're gonna see it today, hopefully. guys we're going with the spot blender from spray max again we're trying to blend along my edge right there and then we may try to open it up and blend in the door jam don't know how that's gonna work yeah
that's going to be it. Pretty good repair, I think. It's going to require a little bit of buffing on my part, but uh, not too bad. I had about a little over $200, maybe right around $200 yep. in all the material. And, uh, you know, it was a $6,400 estimated repair. So I'm happy with that. Saved quite a bit of money and got an air compressor out of it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't include that in the cost. <laughs> that was $380. So Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be happy with it. We'll see what it looks like uh, whenever I get it buffed and make sure my wife's okay with it. But I think she will be. But, yeah, that is going to be it for another Vivor uh, paint booth video. If you like our content, if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.